Okay, yeah. Uh, you're in for a bit of a treat. I'm not working tonight. I'm at home. And I'm about to show you something very dear to me. And I'm sure a lot of people will find it pretty cool myself. I like to say I'm a, I'm a boy with toys. Eh? So, uh, take a gander at this. This is my collection. Um, besides paintball gun there, they're all bladed weapons. Uh, I will freely admit that uh, many of them are simply decorational. You know, things you buy for, you know, 40, 50 bucks at uh, local stores and whatnot. But surprisingly large variety of them, uh, probably about a third of my collection, are functional battle-worthy blades. Uh, for instance, the greatsword on the, on, the, on the right there is, uh, cost me a little bit over a grand, and it's, t I, I tell you, it's, it's pretty vicious. Uh, some of the ones there, the long sword in the middle there, she's real. Uh, the scythe isn't really a weapon, but it looks cool. And to the layman, eh, it is a weapon, so I'll put it up there. Machete, obviously, real. But uh, surprisingly enough, and <laughs> considering all the weapons I have, that simple machete is one of the most efficient killing, killing bladed weapons you'll ever find. Just a marvelous work of engineering right there. Uh, and some other ones, most of the ones in the middle there are you know, pretty fake. There's some fake wakazashis in the middle there. They're just kind of dumb, but I put them up because they look good. Uh, here's the piece de resistance. Uh, full hauberk, including a coif of chain mail. Now, that's pretty cool, eh? But guess what? You know what's even more cool? I made that. Yeah, I made that all myself. Uh, I'm actually going to make a video describing how I made it and when, when I get around to it. Uh, so I'm actually going to put it on for you in a bit here, too. Got a uh, sword cane here. It actually doesn't have a blade on it. Here, here I'll put this uh, put this down so you can see me better. Hmm, that's a bit better. Yeah, see, it doesn't actually have a blade. It's got like a a cross section. I don't know if you can really see it that well. It's purely stabbing weapon. There is no blade on it. You don't you don't slash with these. You use it as a thrusting weapon. You know, as a time of defense. You can put this whole thing through an entire slab of beef a good foot thick with two fingers. It's got a solid stainless steel pommel which I got engraved and guess what it says? It says uh, it says pimp stick on it but uh, can't really see it too well because the engraving's worn down because I've used the cane a lot. Yeah. I also have uh, one of my favorites here. Everybody knows what one of these is because they're, you know, da 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 da. This is another one of my truly functional blades. It's not a, it's not fake. It's not plastic. It's not one of your dime store ones. There, uh, it's pretty beat up because I've used it a lot. I did take kendo courses, which is actually the the sport form of fighting with these weapons. But uh, they also taught me the actual fighting. I forget what the name of it was called. I think it's called Iido but it's the actual using blade weapon, although they never let us use blade weapons. I went and bought this up myself, and I practiced with them in the backyard. Very, very nice thing to have. Uh, keeps neighborhood kids in line. The thing here I can show you there, kind of the stash of the spares in the corner. Now this has got a whole bunch of stuff here. It's got my shinais. It's for the, for the kendo. It's got the boken in the back. Uh, oh, I got a piece of foam down there. I got uh, an APA down there, a couple things in the back, some blades without uh, without handles or pommels that I'm working on, because not only did I make the chain mail, but I'm also an amateur armorer, so I'm getting into the bladed weapons as well. Uh, I've only been able to repair them uh, pommel-wise and retemper a couple blades because I don't have a forge, but I can use the oven, and that's, that's pretty, pretty interesting. People don't know you can temper a blade in the oven, but you can. Uh, there's one of my cannons down there. Yes, yes, I have cannons, but uh, that's just my travel cannon. That's the pocket cannon. I have a cannon in the backyard that's so large it takes three people to lift it. And this one, this small thing down here, is so powerful, I was blowing holes in a car with it. I was shooting golf balls. <laughs> yeah. Golf balls. Yeah, you just stuff her down there. There's the touch hole there. I use electrical detonation. I'm not a, not a stupid kid who likes to play with fire. I always play it safe electrical detonation with the uh, squibs there. Here are my charges. I have two separate charges, the big bangs and the small bangs, the quarter cups of uh, double, double FX uh, equivalent uh, 
a powder dex uh, powder substitutes and I have them in quarter cups and third cups and those are my charges down there my, some extra powder in the ibuprofenol bottle and uh, my electrical squibs in the detonator there keep it in this old uh, old military 50 caliber uh, machine gun ammunition box because it's very safe in there they're not going to get accidentally touched off yeah and you, you should see the can in the back here I don't have any ch charges for that one made up yet but uh, let me tell you those charges are they're pretty big. You take a couple tennis balls, put them together, and that's their charges. But yeah, there's uh, there's my weapons over yonder. I got a didgeridoo from Australia. I can play that, by the way, too. Not very well, but I can play it. I don't know. Oh, there's a chunk of lead down there. I can't really see. It's a lead ingot in that plastic bag behind the garbage bag there. I'm going to melt that down and make some cannonballs. Again, you can do that in the oven, which is very odd. Most people don't think about it, but you can. You know, lead melts very easily. It's one of my cats. This is Uber. Oh, you lie. Don't listen to anything this cat says. She lies. <laughs> There's another one of my cats. Well, the only other one. That's uh, that's Toby right there. She doesn't lie as much. And here is my pad. It's my toy room. It's my living room. Yes, I got uh, video games up there. DVD sets there. DVDs, 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 all down yonder. It's my anime collection. All up, I got a little bit of Stargate mixed in the top there, but besides that, it's all pure anime. All down, 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 down. It's all anime. Uh, most of those burned CDs are, are anime as well. Uh, some more DVDs in the corner. Yeah, I got my my Xbox, my PS2, my VSR, my all my old ancient VHS. Yes. Yes, boys and girls, VHS, I still use it. There's a whole box over there. My guitar, Hero guitars, my Coke Cola mini fridge. I collect Coke stuff, by the way, in case you didn't know. My fake plant looks so cool. My Scarface wall carpet thing. He was Tony Montana. The world remember him by another name. And it says Scarface at the bottom, but you can't see it. And there's my computer. Uh, hey, what do you know? You know what I'm seeing on my computer? I'm actually...